So this is the last part that I need for my Ronin RSC2 kind of setup, and let's go put it on. It took forever to get here. So what exactly does this do? Well, if you know the other kind of gimbals on the market, like the Zion Crane, uh, they tend to have, you know, this nice little handle off the side of it. And this essentially will give me kind of this handle to put on the side of the RSC2 um, in order to kind of have it low to the ground. So yeah, this is a one from Small Rig. Uh, they've been, you know, pretty notable and kind of well known in terms of like quality. So I'm going to put it on here. I think I just have to throw it right on this side right here. Just have to figure out which way exactly how to do this. I think if I put it in kind of like this. There we go. Alright, it's kind of on. I think I just have to tighten this. Watch, I'm going to tighten this whole thing and then it's going to be in the wrong place. It's not going to be like in an ideal position for my hand. Yep, and I just realized it. I put it the wrong way. It's supposed to be flipped the other way. Let's redo this. Because I want this thing kind of facing towards me, so I guess like this. Just goes up the opposite way, and then I lock this in. <sighs> this is what people were telling me on Amazon, and I didn't listen. Right here, there's this little kind of area right here where you can't really twist it because this thing kind of blocks it. So what I'm probably going to have to do is figure out a way around it. There we go. Alright, so you just have to make it a little tighter. You can't have it that loose. And then there is enough room at the end here, just barely for your thumb as you can see right here. So I'm going to tighten this. It's all tight now. And then I just have to add this other kind of arm thing right here. It's going to add this kind of extra handle so that I could kind of get it low to the ground. Oh, did I put this the wrong way again? Hopefully not. I feel like once it's installed and once I've done it a couple times, it's going to be a lot easier to, you know, install and reinstall. So, putting that on right there. And, oh, good. We are ready. So now we kind of have like this full setup. I can get it kind of low, kind of like this. Probably a little bit lower angle. Because um, this does still seem kind of feel like a kind of weird way to hold it. So, I'm going to adjust a little bit more, but... So yeah, pretty much today we're just going to be testing this thing out a little bit more just because we have this whole setup and we got some projects this weekend, so so I do that. So let's go. Alright, we're at the beach right now. Um, we're going to take some B-roll with the Canon R5 right there. It's on the gimbal. I'm using the Canon EOS R right now just to film this because I don't want to take apart the R5. And yeah, we're going to go run it right now. Let's go. are going well, Gage is having fun with it. It's nice and easy. It'll be like a good skating video. <laughs> How do you think it went? It went pretty well. It's a bit uh, chilly outside, but I think we got some good shots. A guy playing an instrument. I already forgot what instrument he was playing. Uh, got some free stickers. <laughs> Gotta show the merch. Plug the guy. <laughs> it says clothing wear. Anti-toxic lifestyle. <laughs> we don't want any toxic toxicity in our lifestyle. Not a sponsored post, but <laughs> a little bit, but not really. Yeah, we're heading home. Uh, we'll take a look at the footage when we get back. 
And now we are back at my place. I got a chance to take a look at some of the footage from the DJI RSC2 with that new handle grip and it looks so smooth. Uh, most of the footage shot on that B-roll kind of sequence was shot at 60 FPS with no stabilization added. Uh, it was all the gimbal doing pretty much most of the work for that extra smoothness within you know some of those clips and I'm just really impressed with it so far. Again, this is my first time trying it outside in the real world, so there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. So I'm excited to, you know, try it out more in the future. If you like this video, make sure to press that like button down below to see more kind of like this. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on more videos where I test it out a lot more, as well as take my Canon R5 for, you know, a lot more awesome kind of test footage and vlogs. And then comment down below if you have the DJI RSC2 and if you have you know, any cool you know tips or tricks you know to take even awesomer shots of it. I love to hear about it and yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. We got a sea potato jet. I don't know who that is, so I'd say no. We didn't, we saw a guy playing an instrument. I already forgot what instrument he was playing. Uh, got some free stickers.